Alrighty, guys. It is Wednesday, the 14th of April. We're going to be tackling Myrtle. That's definitely not how that's pronounced. Mir Mi yeah, yeah, yeah. Myrtle. Myrtle. However you say it. Probably Myrtle. I don't know. We're going to play it. Looks like it's like grass or something. Or just grass decorations could be tech. We had dirt yesterday. Very interesting sign. I don't have my controller input on. We're going keyboard for today. Until I turn it on. That was confused. Okay, I need to start that sooner and probably break. Ooh, we got a, we got a, a checkpoint triangle to go through. And we have a stoppy to do. Oh, I'm trying to use the controller and put... It's not there yet. Coming soon. It was tech, I was right. Here's the thumbnail. Oh my god. It's very tight. Okay. This is a track. I wasn't able to get the risky finish because I hit a wall. Okay. Get the controller input on. And we'll go for a real run. Ah. Okay, don't take that turn too tight, otherwise you can't make it. And don't do that. Uh, I'm gonna hit the grass. That I don't want. Ah, I'm wiggling. Okay, that's as low as I probably could take it. This U-turn. Not the greatest. Go at it. Took that way smoother. And we have one turn and then we're done. And what bammo. 19 seconds of improvement. Let's go. Alright, what are we at? Author metal wise. 49... 06, so two seconds. I have to make a. I'm sure I can do that. The jump is like perfect. Oh. Okay. I don't know why that was. Got a little extra air, not too detrimental. That is, though, hitting the wall like that, very detrimental. It's interesting, it's got dirt in it, so we're not off the dirt train yet. But, it's... Well, you could definitely take that fast. We're not off the dirt train today, but it's less dirt. It's like we're on the, the end of the dirt train. We're doing bad clips because we feel like it.
<laughs> nice. I touched wheel down earlier, I think. I made another set of... So I have these... Like I said, I have the... Like I said a while ago, I have these analog controls. I have the analog key switches on, on this like little keypad thing that I use. It's how I can have like a half steering input, even though I mainly use keyboard. And and uh, this game, I feel, is like the only game where it's actually noticeably useful. <laughs> I have not found another game where that's useful. Um, but I recently bound another set of buttons kind of nearby. I use like a WASAD layout. I use W for accelerate and then like where S and D or yeah, where S and D are, I use, you know, like a joystick input. But now, also where on the two keys below S and D, I cannot think of what they are currently because I am gaming. Uh, I have two more joystick inputs that are that are very similar to my current controls. Like, I have it set so that if it's pressed down partially at all, it's like a half joystick input. And then if it's pressed down fully, it's like a full joystick input. That's how I can have... Let me just sit here, for example. I can... If you look at the bottom right, you can see that I have... I push it down slightly and it goes straight to half, and then I have like a little bit of wiggle room that's not perfect, and then I can go full. And then I have it the other way as well. I can go to a half steer or a full steer. But now I have these new joystick inputs that go to like a quarter steer and three quarters of a steer. For even more very low end. So I have half, I have quarter, half, three quarters full. But it's like alternating keys. If I press them both at the same time, I get like opposite directions. Which can cause problems, but they're below my fingers, so I don't often accidentally hit them. If I'm switching between one and the other, I'm, I sometimes do that, but that's not too bad. It's something I can get used to. I got used to partially pressing these keys very quickly, and now I use it all the time, so... The reason I bring it up is because I'm using that second row of keys right there on that turn for that extra smoothness that it provides. Does it help me go? Does it help me go faster? Mm, probably not. Uh, but it makes it look so nice and smooth. It's a different line, but it worked out. Oh, I'm just going. That turn is really decisive. Because it's like, I'm, I'm grip, I'm grip, I'm grip, and then suddenly I'm in the sky. I have, like, an 8-bit controller. <laughs> like, uh, if, like, if you were to draw, a, like, a controller in 8-bit style, like, the quality that you lose from uh, a normal photo, that's, like, what I have. Instead of, like, the... I don't know how many inputs a controller has. It's, like, maybe, I don't know, 256 in each direction. 512 total different states. I have a flight joystick that I've used that has 32,000 different levels of left and right. That's a fun one. Uh, instead of, you know, 256 or 32,000, I have four. And they're not as easily accessible all the time as, like, a controller. But they're in keyboard format, which is my preferred method. I'm going! They're my preferred method of inputs to this game, therefore it is how I play.
I probably have. The, I'm probably the only one with this sort of unorthodox strategy. But I like it, so therefore I use it. What do we have? Ten minutes. We have a second to make up. A second and a half to make up. It's gonna be difficult today. And if I keep doing this jump randomly slow, it is gonna be difficult. Yeah, come on. No. Oh. I'm like just clipping it enough to get the slowdown. There we go. I had to let up there. I had to let up there. But I didn't let up enough on the second time. Okay. That dirt current that dirt turn I feel could be taken better. That was nice. Surprised it didn't hit that wall. I'm not gonna fly off that time. Uh, I tried to take that like in a weird. It's it's so weird that corner because there's two very, very thin parts that I have to get through. And it scares me. I'm scaled. And because I'm scaled, I cannot do too well. I want to take that dirt turn as an, in as straight a line as possible. And though I'm normally, I'm using the strategy I would normally use of trying to go really high up on that dirt, I think it might be better if I cut it in more and get a text message. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone. Um, uh, let me respond to this text. Uh... So I'm professional, I'm answering a text message. Fine, I did it quick. See, I don't know. Doesn't feel any faster, me cutting it deep in like that. I clipped, but I didn't lose speed. Oh my god, more text messages. That should be it. I should have expected text messages. I came into this video with the potential of getting text messages. Oh my god, yeah, that saw that coming. You have to go basically in a straight line up that jump, otherwise you uh, don't have the speed. And sometimes you don't have the speed anyways. There we go. Add the speed. And then clip the corner. Okay. Okay. I bet this... Okay. I have come up with a possible tiny speed increase. Yep, saw that coming. I'm leaning a very small bit to the right whenever I leave that jump. What I'm gonna do, get here. I didn't do what I wanted. Ah.
I mean, that's a safe way to do that. I'm surprised. That's as fast as you can take that. Oh. You're always taking that dirt turn very quickly. Unfortunately, I had too much speed and didn't know what to do with it all. Not used to this kind of power. Okay, that was me just trying to be smooth, and it didn't work. I only have four levels of smooth, okay? I think the different the four levels of smooth will help me on Ice Bob Slay. Because I can be a little bit more precise about stuff. Shout out to Steam Noise. Your friend did not just get online on Steam, it's mine. He's my friend. Okay, I did what I wanted, which was like a little diagonal jump. A little bit of a diagonal jump on the dirt. It didn't seem to do much, <laughs> if anything. So I will take note of that and not worry about it. But I'll do it anyways. And accept the risk that I might run into the wall. the wall. I was like trying to maximize my exit there. It didn't work. I lost speed just from the transition. We're gonna do the run anyway just because I want to learn. That turn without breaking very difficult. You have to use the dirt very particularly. I got a lot of air there. I'm ahead, but not for long. Holy crap. Oh my god, I need to break more there. That was really good. I hit the wall. I'm trying to maximize that dirt corner because everything after that seems to be where I can make up time on myself. Seems like that area is where I'm going to get the second and a half, or at least part of that second and a half that I need. Probably let, look at the GPS here because I want to know one, if it tells me what the time of the GPS is, which is nice, and two, if I'm going to be able to see what it does. If it's good, that'll be great. I braked extra hard for that because I knew I needed to. That was not great. There's a gear there. There's going to be an improvement, but I don't like that there's a gear there. Okay. Wow, that's close. 50.8. Wow. Wanted to check. Noticed a lot of new people coming to Trackmania ever since the spring season. It's nice to see. More people to uh, have competition with. Hit 
hit the wall. So I just gotta like improve, I'd say. Well, I have to improve 1.1 seconds. Got a nice like wheel down. I'm surprised I didn't hit that corner. I was scared. I'm always scared on that corner. That gear is brutal. But there's another point three, so we're getting there. But I don't know if it's I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it today. Um considering Considering I still have like 0.8 of a second to make up. Okay. It's all in this U turn. How much speed I carry through there and how. How little I am scared of that turn out, turn around. I got a good gear, but I wasn't ready for it. I can see how much I rocketed forward because I kept a gear. That's how gears matter in this game. That's how gears can matter in this game. If you've ever slid out in an ice slide, like if you're doing an ice slide and you like suddenly stop doing the ice slide and just go backwards, that's a gear. You, you've geared, you, your car is geared and you lost all of that ability. All the ability to slide. The wheel down. And then fail horribly at the turn afterwards because of the wheel down. If you're going to learn how to do a trick in Trackmania, um, I would learn how to do like wheel downs and stuff. Stuff where you leave a ledge and your one wheel is like being, is like dipping down because of it. I use it all the time. You could land, you, you land a lot sooner if you wheel down. The first track of spring to get a pretty to to like get a a much better time than what you have. The first track in spring, there's a um, there's a jump you can take, where letting up is faster, but also getting a very precise wheel down is extremely important. I doubt the wheel down in this scenario is that fast. But it is good practice. This is a very good practice. Like if you want to learn how to do a wheel down. That ledge is like the perfect ledge to practice it. Didn't do a wheel down at all there. Oh, and then was too far on the inside to even think about doing a... Too far on the inside to even think about doing anything related to a turn without breaking. I really need to go into that turn far on the outside and start it pretty early because it's on dirt and it transitions into tarmac.
go. Okay. That was not great. And that was not great either. I'm pretty sure I have to get through that triangle. Let's watch the GPS finally. We're 26 minutes in. I'm going to watch the GPS. 48.81. So it's actually a whole second faster than my time. Yay. Takes that way. Don't think it matters. Does that without braking. Acceptable. Starts it super early like I thought. It's got to be on the U-turn. So here. Yep. That was a pretty good one. And then braking a lot harder. I should learn from that. And then not getting a bad gear. I think he did on that one. Uh, not getting a bad gear. Oh god. Not looking. Wasn't looking. Fine though. No, why? Okay. I did hear in the GPS that he actually lets up right up here. He lets up here. It makes sense. It makes sense why he lets up. There's a whole two tenths ahead. I'm just gonna go for a mimic the GPS run. We've got two minutes left. I'm just going to mimic the GPS. Okay, I got to start that earlier. This is breaking all of my muscle memory, at least in some places. The GPS has a, you know, a 48.8, a, a tenth faster. Might as well copy what works. Except, do that turn, actually. Okay. Again, follow the GPS. It knows what it's doing. At least, follow the GPS in in line. I don't... <laughs> I can't fully follow the GPS. Alright. It's looking like it's going to be the last few runs here. So, I will see you all tomorrow for Thursday, the 15th of April. We will attack whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. I get another tags. Uh... Until then, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you all after this run. Later!